Hey everyone, how are you? In this video, I will implement lasso regression from scratch. Now first, a few quick notes about the speciality of this regression. So lasso, lasso regression is also another linear model derived from linear regression which shares the same hypothetical function for prediction. So in simple linear regression, the objective function also called the cost function to be minimized is just the RSS that is the residual sum of square which is represented with this formula right here and in this case the gradient is nothing but a partial differential of the cost function with respect to a particular weight denoted by WJ and the gradient for the Jth weight is the expression that we see right here. Now linear regression model considers all the features equally relevant for prediction where there are many features in the data set and even some of them are not relevant for the predictive model and that is a problem with linear regression and because this makes the model more complex with a too inaccurate prediction on the test set on that is overfitting and such a model with high variance does not generalize on the new data and so lasso regression comes to the rescue it introduces an L1 penalty or equal to the absolute value of the magnitude of the weights in the cost function of linear regression. The modified cost function for lasso regression is given right here. So we can see here the objective function or the cost function to be minimized is the RSS that is a residual sum of square plus an extra term. And this extra term is the, absolute, the summation of the absolute value of all the weights. And this term lambda is an hyperparameter. So few key points about the lasso regression. Uh, it's most often used for eliminating automated variables and the selection of features. And it is well suited for models showing heavy multicollinearity among the features. And lasso regression is considered to be better than rich as it selects only some features and decreases the coefficients of others to zero. And the algorithm that we will be implementing in a second is pretty much this. So initialize the weights. Actually, uh, I will be initializing the, uh, the bias term as well with a zero value. Uh, then iterate till not converged. Iterate over all the features that is from z equal to zero up to m. m is the number of features. And update the jth weight with a value which minimizes the cost. And here is what uh, where we will implement the gradients of the partial derivatives of the cost function with respect to the weights and also with respect to the bias. And how are those partial derivatives calculated? Well, there's a very exhaustive mathematical uh, derivation for that. Uh, but because here this um, term is the cost function and uh, with an addition of this extra term for the L1 regularization and there's many ways to optimize this but it's just that uh, there is no closed form solution unlike the simple linear regression but anyway the formula or the most used mathematical formula that is used for uh, lasso regression are these so with respect to the weights, that is a partial derivative j theta with uh, respect to the weights is represented with this expression. Similarly, the partial derivative of j theta, that is a cost function with respect to the bias is represented with uh, this expression. And I have taken this from a well-known blog. I have uh, put the link over here. And of course, it will be there in the source code uh, for which I will put the link in the description. So basically, this is the formula that we are going to use in our implementation. So let's uh, start the coding.